Merced was, was like a prison camp, uh, surrounded by barbed wire, uh, guard towers, manned by military. Uh, I'm sure they had rifles, machine guns, or whatever. And they had um, the, the Jeep patrol coming around and, and uh, around the perimeter of the, of the camp, and they would come uh, fairly often. At night, the uh, searchlights were there, and they would crisscross the, the, the camp. Uh, well, we were moved there in, in, in May, and of course, by June, uh, the, the, the grapes were ripening, and we, we happened to be, the, the camp happened to be next to a vineyard, um, and uh, when the grapes get ripe, there's you know distinct uh, smell, and um, um, you know, I thought, gosh, you know, it wouldn't take much to cross that little road, uh, you know, beyond the fence uh, to get the grapes. I mean, you could see them, you could smell them. And so I, I know several times that uh, I, I thought about crawling under the fence and just, you know, getting some grapes. Um, but you know, you're you're sort of trying to time the lights because, but they weren't they weren't uh, they weren't set into a standard pattern, so you couldn't judge where that light was going to show the next next point. And I tried. I t tried to figure. Well, it's the lights are shining over there, and they'll be swinging over here, and so forth. And but they, I could never figure them out. So I was, I was, you know, and we were told, you know, you you go beyond that fence, you're going to get shot. Um, so I guess I just didn't have enough courage to do that. And never, never tried to get those grapes.